Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within Long War. So, the war is long indeed, but there's plenty more to do before we get through it. This month has a foundry, laser pistols, workshop, and an excess left coming through before the council report, but there's not a lot of time left here, so we'll see what actually winds up happening. All of our UFOs are damaged still, so if there's any UFO, rather all of our, our fighters are damaged, so any UFOs that come by, we're not going to be able to fight them. We'll see what happens here. Oh boy. Oh boy, we have our first terror attack. Looks like they've changed that their looks tactics. good. We have a terror attack. Oh, oh no, St. John's. No, this isn't the this isn't the council mission. We're okay. This is just a terror attack that happens to be in St. John's, Newfoundland. It isn't the attack that happens in St. John's, Newfoundland. Now this is still swarming with aliens, and I have a feeling that means that if we go, we will all die. Also, apparently a UFO bombed civilian targets in Germany, increasing panic? Hmm. But yeah, this... This is not what we like to see. We might try and go just for the fun of it, <laughs> but it's going to be a disaster. Let's, let's press our luck here. Let's try this. So we're going to bring a shiv on this mission. We want somebody who we can bring who's not going to die a horrible death if anything bad happens. Let's take a look at our squad here. So, Shiv is coming on this mission. Can I rename them? I don't know if you can. Oh, you can. Huh. We might rename them later. So we have a Shiv to bring along. Can I equip them with things? I could. I don't have anything to give them, though, unfortunately. Okay, fair enough. We have five other units to bring. Let's bring a sniper and a good gunner. None of our gunners are going to be as good as these two, though. They have really high aim. Do we have any other decent aim gunners? 65. Nothing great. We have a lot of wounded people as well. Well, let's take... Ooh. I don't know. What can I make you into, Wozniak? Ah, uh, you're a scout or a sniper. Okay. What are we going to take here? Let's take Nabil. Because he's available, and he's a pretty darn good sniper. We can also take... A medic on this mission? I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference to have a medic. Honestly. We need firepower here. We can take Petridis again and bring another Lieutenant Corporal. I think bringing a bunch of Lieutenant Corporals is probably a good idea. Because these guys are going to probably wreck us. So let's bring as much as we can. Unfortunately, Jimin Chun is fatigued for four more hours. We might be able to get her back if we wait, but we're not going to wait. Akoro, you're going to come with us as well. Balo has the sapper skill, so let's take them. Sniper, Rocketeer, Infantry, Engineer. I'd like a gunner still, or a different kind of support firefighter. An assault or a scout would probably be our best choice here. All of our scouts are injured, though, or fatigued. Let's take Yamaguchi, then. Alright, we'll re-equip these people to make sure they all have good gear. You're going to want a scope if we can find one. If we can't, we'll just uh, clear all of our inactive gear. Alright. Petridis, you're going to want some more rockets. I'm actually going to give you... A normal rocket instead of a shredder rocket on this mission. You know what? I'm going to keep the shredder rocket. It might be actually useful here. Let's clear out gear from people who don't have... Who are not on this mission. That way I can give you the other scope to make up for your accuracy problems with those rockets. You have your carbine still, which is good. Okoro, as our gunner, you're going to want some accuracy boosting, so a laser sight is the best we can do for you right now, I think. We don't have any more scopes available. Okay. Baluch, you're going to change your... Flashbang for an AP grenade, so that might be really useful if we get a bunch of clustered enemies here. I have a feeling we're going to need a lot more firepower on this mission since it is going to be a mess. And Yamaguchi, you're going to swatch your... swatch? Switch your laser sight for a ceramic plating. Flashbang grenade is going to stay. Assault rifle switches to shotgun. Okay, are we going to die here? Probably. Let's see if we can do this without getting horribly murdered. I 
fully expect this terror mission to be an absolute disaster, but let's see how it plays out. All right. All the way around the world for this one. Here goes nothing. The drop site for this alien terror attack in St. John's, Canada. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a This is going to be a mess. There's going to be so many people here. Minimize further civilian casualties. Every civilian casualty will sharply increase panic in this country. Oh boy. Let's launch this mission. We should not have come here, but... This is one of those times where I just wanted to see what we'd be up against, honestly, having never tried these terror missions ever. Central, this is Big Sky. I'm kind of excited just to see what, how awful it's going to be. So let's try this. Let's try this. <coughs> Who can we move up here properly? Shiv might be a good choice. Let's move the Shiv up to here. Save this civilian. Can the ship even save people? Yes, it can. Alright, that's good. That's one civilian saved. There's a lot of civilians in a very tightly packed area. That's actually really good for us. Much higher chance of potentially saving more people. Let's move you over to here, Petridis. You're clear. You don't see anything new. That's good news. Let's sprint up with somebody. Let's send our scout to the front lines. Yamaguchi, you're going to run over to here and take cover next to this building and save another civilian for us. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Alright, Nabil, I need to get you into decent cover so you can at least see something. Can I get you on the roof? No. Doesn't look like there's any easy way to the roof without being over here. So let's bring you around so you'll actually be in a slightly better position to get to the roof. Don't know if the roof is even where I want to put you, but it seems like it would be. Dayo Okoro, let's put you... I don't want to put you there because you're going to block line of sight for our sniper to get up on the roof, rather. Not line of sight, line of movement. Okoro, you're coming to the front lines. And Balo, you're going to move up to here, perhaps. Alright, we're in a position where we should be able to at least protect ourselves. Let's move Thunder 1 up to here to save another citizen. Oh boy, this thing is a stressful mess. So... You just punched that door open. I bet you that alerted aliens to our presence. Let's overwatch there with Ketridis, and we'll see what happens. What horrors await us? Nothing yet. Hello, citizen. We can hear the nasties outside. They haven't killed anything yet, which is... Very reassuring. So let's take our sniper, Nabil, and move him up onto the roof. Heading out. This might see more than we want to. Get out of here. We just saved a civilian with him, that's good. Let's move them up again over to here. So we can get more of these roof civilians if we need to. Um Okoro, you're going to move. I don't know what we want to do here. This is kind of a terrifying mess. So, let's move you up to here first, Balo. The thing I'm worried about is chrysalids busting down the doors and just rushing us. Okoro, you're going to come take a peek outside. Nothing there, as far as I can see. Let's move you around to here. Still nothing. I guess they're over on this part of the map. We have a lot of civilians here. There's still one, two, three, four, five, six. All of the civilians. No, seven. Okay. There's five more elsewhere on the map that we can't see immediately. But that's pretty good. We have a lot of civilians. Oh, there's another one. There's a lot of civilians here we might be able to save. All right, let's move the Shiv over to here and save this one. I kind of want to move Petridis back in here, but the more people we can have not be dead, the better, I think. Yamaguchi, let's send you up to here for yeah, now. Yeah. Send you up to the front lines. I should probably send you over by that civilian, but you know what? I think it'll be fine. Petridis, you're going to move into here. On the move. And... What can you do? Balo. You're going to come over behind okay. this cover, actually. 
Shiv, you're gonna overwatch here, just to give us a potential protection against one enemy that comes through that door. They're over here, they're coming closer. They might come in through the side this turn. No, nothing happening yet. Not seeing anything. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. They're right outside the door. Okay, well... I'd say it's time we uh, get to business here, because otherwise it's going to be bad news bears. I don't really want to move up to this wall, because I won't be able to shoot, and I know I'm going to trigger things. I might move up to here, though, and see what we see. Moving out. Don't like moving with a Koro first. Hello, Chrysalids! And a zombie. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right, Okoro, you need to do some work here. Can we flashbang Chrysalids? Looks like it. That would be a nice flashbang. Hit all four of them. All right, let's do that. That should slow them down. Is that another human or another zombie? I can't tell. All right, well, we're going to open the door here. We're going to need Balo to probably throw a grenade through, but let's get Yamaguchi to open the door. If we get Balo to throw a good AP grenade right into here, that should really hurt those guys, and that would be useful. I can't quite reach as far as I'd like. Can't quite get it to land on this guy, it doesn't look like. We can get it pretty close to these two, though. And it'll hurt all of them a little bit. They're not in cover, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's just throw a grenade in there and get some damage on these things. That was some good damage. Four, seven, five, and two. Very nice. All right, Petridis, you might throw a rocket in there to finish them off. We'll lose their corpses, but that's not the end of the world. If you fire a rocket in there right now, it is a very low scatter. 1.5 tiles is not the end of the world. If it scatters over this way, it'll still hit them. Nothing in there is really a dangerous scatter. Is there anything else we'd rather do right now, though? We have Yamaguchi who can take a shot. Our, unfortunately, our... Uh, Infantry here does not have a shot. I thought... Why? Why doesn't she have a shot? I thought she only moved one... little bit forwards there. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, she threw the grenade. That's right. That's right. She threw the protective grenade. Nabil, you're going to move up to the front lines here. And you're going to steady weapon there for next turn. Now that we've found them, there's no reason to not do this. I think we need to fire a rocket at them, because it gives us the best chance of not getting dead. So let's fire this rocket right right in here, I think, right near this guy, and we'll see what happens. And then we can use the two remaining, the Shiv and our scout here, to hopefully finish some of these guys off. Don't miss the doorway. Good. All right, that's one enemy with five health left and a zombie who's disoriented left. Which should be doable. If we take a shot at the Chrysalid, ooh... He's hardened, but he is disoriented, so he should have less range, so he shouldn't be able to get to us. Let's take a shot at him with Yamaguchi. Nicely done. Okay, that's the Chrysalid leader there dead. And Shiv, what's your aim at this guy? 70% chance to do some pretty hefty damage, potentially wipe him out. Do it, Thunder One. Ooh, 12 damage crit. That was a weird animation. That was exactly what we needed. Oh, thank goodness. We've, we've burned a lot of explosive power, but this could be exactly what we're looking for. Whoo, boy, this is scary. Okay, Petru, this, you're going to move up to here. I don't think you can actually help that person through the wall, can you? No. I know there's a lot more aliens on the map, but we can't see them, so we can't do anything about them. An APC over there. Okay. There's probably lots more aliens. Let's move Thunder 1... ...over here. Won't we'll be able to see whatever shot this guy. No, also apparently they didn't save this civilian, which I don't like, because I'm not going to move again. We're going to overwatch here. Okoro, I kind of want you to be in a better position, so I'm going to move you into this cover so you can at least see around the corner and rescue the civilian. And you're going to overwatch from there for now. I probably should have steadied aim with you, but... If we get a good opportunity to get somebody out of cover, that would be good, in my opinion. Steady weapon with Petridis, so we have a good shredder if we need it. Yamaguchi, I'm going to move you up a little bit here. And you're going to overwatch. 
Nabil, you're gonna steady weapon again, actually. And Balo, you're going to move up to here. You still have th three grenades left, which is a good amount of firepower to throw. Probably should have used that rocket first instead of the grenade, but whatever, I didn't think of it until after. Let's see if these guys are going to rush us now. Probably they will if they're chrysalids. No, nothing's moving. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. We know there has to be a lot of aliens still left on the map here. There have to be, rather. I might honestly just hunker down and sit here, because we have a bunch of the civilians here. So if the aliens want to do damage, they have to come over to us. And that's kind of where I want them to be, because there's one. That's one. That's two. How many are left? That's three. And we have four, five, six. I kept this guy yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. We have all of the remaining civilians within our line of sight. So I don't think we honestly even want to go further forwards. We're just going to buckle down here and hopefully try and save some of these people. Steady weapon there. Shiv, you're going to move down to here. Save that citizen. Thank you. Overwatch there, since you can't steady weapon. Balo, you're going to steady weapon. Petridis, you're going to steady weapon. Here they come. Oh boy. Shiv does five damage to one of them. Kills him. Wow, nicely done. That's a pair of overwatches nine miles away, and we have an enemy over here we can see. Shiv is getting a lot of kills here, but that's kind of why I brought him on this mission. 94% chance to basically kill this floater. Take the shot. Oh, damage reduction. I forgot about that. He's behind high cover. All right, that's irritating. Does somebody else have a good shot at him? I don't think anybody else can even see him. Yamaguchi can move up since she has the ability to dodge those overwatches if she triggers them. Which she didn't anyway. If you take a shot at this guy, obviously the pistol's not, uh, the shotgun's not going to work. What's the pistol aim, though? Probably also low. Yeah, pretty darn low. And the odds of that even doing damage are pretty slim to begin with. Okoro, let's move you over to here. That might also trigger those overwatches, which I'm a little bit wary of. Oh, we got it. Okay. 37 on him, 47 on him, because you have the Executioner bonus. Go for the kill on that one, please, Okoro. Misses. Okay, that's worrying. Not the end of the world, but it is worrying. Petridis does not have a shot right now. I might move her up to this high cover here and move Balo up to this side. Or I can move Balo up to the door. You can just walk out here. It's not going to do us much good. Hmm... We have three, four units left to kill off these two, and we know there's more floaters in the background there. What's your shot looking like? You have a 25 on this guy, you can't see him. You can move a lot. You could move over here and get a flank on this guy. I don't know if I really want you to get all these kills, though. Our scout does not have the aim we need. We'd use her flashbang, though. Can we hit both of them with it? Just maybe? No, it's a couple pixels off, isn't it? Yeah. We can't quite get both of them, but we can get the high health one with the flashbang if we need to. I'm tempted to move Balo over to here. I lose the, the whatchamacallit, steady weapon, but I can open the door then. should be able to see them. I can see one of them. 22% chance, or we can blow him up if we need to. I'd rather not blow him up, but if it comes to that or dying, well, you know how it is. Here we only have a shot at this guy. We have a 46% chance, though. Don't need to do much damage. We just need to hit him. Petridis, can you do it? Yes! That's what we like to see. Petridis finishes off the floater in the background. That saves us having to waste explosives. Shiv, you're going to move up into a flanking position, which I could be able to probably just sit you here. We won't have the best accuracy from this range, but at least you'll be in flank. There we go. Because he's in a direct line with this enemy. If you can hit him, that'd be great. 70% chance to basically wipe him off the face of the earth. Ooh, okay. That's bad news. That is very much bad news. Yamaguchi, I think you're going to overwatch this turn. You might flashbang that guy, though, because I don't trust him being there. And Balo, you are going to overwatch for sure this turn. We'll see what happens. Yamaguchi, you're going to flashbang him for our own safety. Might not be the best move, because he's probably going to overwatch now, but we do have a scout here, so if we need to move, we can. 
That should stop him from moving too far forwards and blasting one of our team. Oh, he flew. Okay, where's he gonna land? Oh, you butt. Landing behind the building? That's evil. All those civilians are back there. Whoa, 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 what was killing them? Hang on. What was killing them? We, they were... They were in the safe zone. What's going on there? I don't like that one bit. Alright. Nabil, you can see something. Balo, you can see him behind you? Yeah, you can. Okay. You can't hit him right now, but at least you see him. Petridis, can I move you up to a position where you can actually see and do something about this? Okoro, you as well. No, you're not going to be able to get far enough around to actually hit him. Plus, we know there's more floaters over there, but more importantly, people are dying off screen, which we do not want. That goes very much against our current plan. Unfortunately, he's still over there, which means he'll be able to do some nasty stuff to us if he wants. Ooh, this is a problem. Now, Balo, if you could blow up this door, we might be able to do some serious damage to him. So let's move you over here. Let's see how your high explosive grenades do at blowing up this wall. Because if you can take out that wall, we have a good chance of being able to actually hurt him. So let's throw this high explosive here and see what happens. Good, you took out the wall. And possibly some of the cover behind him, too. Yes, that is how high explosive grenades should do things. Took out all of the cover around him. That is ideal. Alright, so we should be able to move up to here then with Petridis and have a clear shot at him. Or we could move over to there with somebody else. Nobody else can move quite that far, but he should be exposed now for anybody else's attacks. Petridis, you're going to move over to here. You only have your junky little gun though, so let's see if anybody else can get closer. Or as close. No. Doesn't look like anyone else is going to be able to get into really effective range. So Petridis, you're going to be the one. Hopefully get a nice crit here and finish him off for us. Yes, Commander. Get into position. 100% chance to hit, 55% chance to crit. You're probably not going to kill him even if you crit him, but do some damage, please. Four damage critical. I'll take it. All right, now we need to finish this guy off this turn. Yamaguchi, you can move up to here. You're going to be very exposed if I move you in there, though. Okoro, let's move you over to here and see if you can see him. You should be able to have a shot. No, you don't see him. Shiv, you're going to move in. You need to reload. Move in. Reload the shiv. There we go. Yamaguchi. You will have a shot if I move you in here, but you might not be able to kill him, and then you will be exposed. I'm going to move you into here instead, therefore. I could move you into the high cover, but I think it's better for us to just move as close move as we in. can so we have a slightly better accuracy. We're going to take a pistol shot here. A long bomb pistol, I think. Let's check the shotgun aim first, just to be careful, since he is exposed. 70% to hit. Okay, do it. Please don't miss this. Ooh, that's a couple 70s that are really going to cost us here. Let's move you over to here, Nabil. You're going to take a pistol shot down on him. You can't see him. Steady weapon, I guess. That's awful. Okoro, you're going to overwatch in case he moves. He does. Please, Okoro, don't fail me now. Oh, beautiful, Okoro. Takes him out. So we know there's aliens over here somewhere. We know there's aliens behind us. Don't know what they are, but let's go take a look. If we move Thunder 1 to here, we should be able to see what killed this guy. Nothing. Apparently he just imploded of his own accord. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Let's save him, because otherwise apparently these guys die while things off-screen kill them. Okoro, you're going to reload, because you're going to want ammo for next That's turn. Balo, you're going to move back over to this door and you're going to overwatch for us. There's a lot of people on the roof, but we see all of them, so that's safe. We're going to overwatch here. Petridis, you're going to move over to this high wall, I think. No, you can't see out of there. You're going to move over to here then, and you're going to overwatch from there. Or rather, you're going to reload, I think. Your ammo is not the most important, but it is definitely a good idea to keep you loaded. We know there's still those floaters off screen. Yamaguchi, I'm just going to get you to rescue this civilian so that nothing silly happens with him as well. 
We have five civilians remaining, and that's honestly not bad, especially since four of them are on the roof here with us, so we know they're more or less secure. Let's steady weapon here with a sniper rifle. Here they come. How's your aim, Balo? Not good enough. He's really high up, too. This could be a kill here, depending on who he aims at. Hopefully he chooses to shoot a civilian. Nope, he moves again. And also shoots? No, he does nothing else. Okay. Well, at least we know he's there. Nabil, you have a shot at him. 89% chance to hit him. He's not in cover. Nabil, kill him. Do it. Looks like a miss. No, four damage. Oh! Brutal. Alright, Shiv, you need to get back towards the fray here. Otherwise, you're not going to be much use to us, are you? Let's move you forwards. We need to get you into this mess. Balo, you can see him. What's your aim looking like? 37, because he's up so high, isn't it? What about, uh... Without moving, Okoro can't even see him. Let's move Okoro up to here. I think she goes all the way around. Take the shot here. You have a 62% chance because your executioner bonus. Do it. Nope. 62 was not bad, but apparently it wasn't good enough. Petridis, you're going to need to move. We're going to move you. I can't see from there, though. But I'm going to move you here because nothing else makes sense right now. You're going to overwatch from there, and hopefully you'll catch him if he moves up towards you because your aim should be pretty good. This is what I'm scared about, though. This rooftop is a dangerous place to be right now. Let's move Yamaguchi up here. And since he only has one health left, we're going to go for a pistol overwatch on the crazy off chance that we get a kill with it. Shiv, you're going to just book it back towards us because you need to be over here. So let's move you quickly over to about there. That'll give you the ability to be useful in the future. You can see him, unfortunately. Balo, you still can see him, which means he can shoot you and you are basically not in cover to him. If he moves over one tile, you're exposed. So you need to move up to here so you're in cover, at least, and then we'll see what you can do. Your aim is 37, which is not very good. Can you somehow miraculously throw a grenade into space to hit him? No. Okay. 37 is a really bad shot, but if I don't shoot him this turn, he's going to move. And he might actually get out of our line of sight. So I'm going to, instead of steadying aim or... I, you know, I could overwatch instead, but I'm going to just take a pot shot at him here with Balo. If we hit him, great. That's kind of what I expected. We have a lot of teammates over here to give us the firepower we need. Oh, he dropped. And here's the overwatch. Petridis, get that executioner. Yes! Executioner overwatch came through for us. The alien carbine did what it needed to. Oh, man. Okay. This mission has been going really well so far, honestly. I was kind of expecting it to be a lot more terrifying given that it's a terror mission, ha ha. But it hasn't honestly been that bad. You're gonna steady weapon there, Tariq. We're gonna send our scout back down to the front lines. Let's get them back over here. We know there's more aliens, but we've been doing pretty good so far with preserving our equipment and not getting murdered. We're gonna reload with you, Balo, because you're basically out of ammo. Petri this, with your assault carbine, let's move you up to here and then uh, steady weapon. We're going to have our shiv move out to here, I think. And from there, overwatch. Since he can't steady weapon anyway. We're going to steady weapon with a Koro, and we'll see what happens. The aliens have to come to us to kill civilians, though. We have them all on lockdown here. One, two, three, four, and the other one is there. We can physically see them all, so they can't magic kill them. But I'm still very hesitant about doing anything else here. Let's move Thunder 1 up a little bit more. We know there's another floater over here. We saw him overwatch. It might have been the one that flew away, though. How long is this map? Very long. We may need to move up a bit more aggressively if we want to find out whatever's left, but I don't want to leave these civilians behind. So if we're going to do that, we're going to go around and collect every civilian before we go. Not super keen on that plan, but it might work out for us. Let's move Balo up to here and get these two, and then we'll move them over here to get this one, then we can jump down from there next turn. Alright, over to here. Save another civilian. Petridis, you guys are just going to steady weapon again, honestly. 
since we're not moving forward just yet, it's probably a better idea for us to... No, not pistol. Let's switch you back to shotgun and overwatch with that. Probably better to have us be prepared since we're not moving forward yet. Shiv, you're going to overwatch in the front lines. Oroko, Okoro rather, you're going to overwatch there. <sighs> Where are you, aliens? Is it that? another pack of chrysalids? It doesn't sound like chrysalids. It sounds like more floaters. I don't know for sure, though. Okoro, you're going to move up to the front lines a little bit. Have we got... Oh, we missed one back there. All right. Balo, you're going to just come over here and grab this civilian for me. Takes both of your move actions, which is kind of lame, but we're going to save everybody if we can here. I might... This this person's a pain in the butt. They're really far out of the way. I might send the Shiv over there, though, because they can get there this turn and then come back. We will lose the Shiv, though, in case they decide to rush us this turn. But at least this way we know we have all of the civilians on the map saved. We don't have to worry about the game insta-murdering them from where they have no right to die. Steady weapon. Petridis is going to steady weapon. She has got a rocket left, which is probably going to come in handy. Overwatch with Yamaguchi. Steady weapon with Nabil. We have them all saved now, so nothing bad can happen to us. If we need to take all the time in the world, we have all the time in the world. I'm tempted to move up a little bit, but we're going to have to get our team back together first since we've been sending our people out to go make sure these civilians are rescued. So, Balo, you're going to move back down to the corner over here, I think. I might move you up a little bit for more forward. Let's bring you over here. You should be fine there for now. Okay. And... You're going to steady weapon, so you have rocket firepower if we need it. You're going to reload this turn, Yamaguchi, I think. You're going to steady weapon, Nabil. And Okoro, you're still going to steady weapon, I think. Still aliens over there. They're still not interested in coming to us. Alright, we're going to have to push forward now. We have our team in a position where we can move in, so we're going to move in a little bit and see what we see. Thunder 1, what do you discover? Nothing. Okay, so we're going to push into this building then and prepare to move on. So, how are we going to do this? Let's move Yamaguchi up to here, which should not reveal any new line of sight. Good. We're going to take Okoro and move you up to here. Sure. We're going to take Petridis. Can I sprint you far enough like I'd like to? Petridis, you can make it over to there. Good. Roger, Dodger into the cover. It's not an amazing position for you because your line of sight is kind of blocked by this wall, but at least you're forwards. Nabil, we're going to move you down to here, I think, so you can see into the building if you need to. I'd love to keep you on the roof, but I think at the moment we need you down on the ground. I might send you up on this roof later if they're not in this building, which doesn't look like they are, but they might be in here somewhere, because then you'll be able to get a good line of sight on them on this side anyway. Is that? That's oh, just another street lamp, okay. And who else do we still have to move around with? We have to grab Balo. Balo, you're going to come over to here and take cover behind this wall as well. And you're going to overwatch. Shiv is going to overwatch. I think that's everybody. Okay. Still nothing in line of sight. I don't like that at all. Yamaguchi, you can move up a little bit more, so let's do it. And four floaters. Hello. Okay, well, we should have a good line of sight down this hallway with our sniper. You can see one of them anyway. 69% chance to hit that guy in the back. That's the leader, too. He moved up. All right, well, let's take that shot. How's your aim looking, Nabil? Looking good. Four damage is what I wanted to see there. So, we can move again to burn all those overwatches, but it really doesn't do anything for us at this point. Okoro, you should have two shots at high accuracy against this guy, since you have Executioner, and you are, in fact, an Executioner. Brilliant. Now, I might want you to reload this turn, but instead I think I'm going to Steady Weapon with you. Because that way you can take a shot and reload next turn. Balo, you're going to move up to here and see if you can get there safely. You might get shot at, but you should be okay. Yeah, you're fine. You're going to overwatch here. Petridis, you're going to steady weapon. Actually, can I fire a rocket from this position and actually have a decent chance of hitting? No, they're too far. 
All right, you're going to steady weapon then for next turn's rocket. Yamaguchi, you're going to move back into cover, and you're going to dodge their overwatches with your lightning reflexes. Don't get shot now. One more. Okay, lots of misses. That's what we were hoping for. Lightning reflexes really increases your odds of them not hitting you. Now you're back in cover, and you can't see them, I don't think. Oh, you can see one of them. But for the most part, we can't see them, which is exactly what we wanted. Thunder 1, you're going to move over to here. And you're going to overwatch to protect us as well. Let's see what happens when these guys move up. Here we go. Here's an overwatch of 3. Balo gets the first reaction shot. Misses. Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. We have more. Shiv gets a reaction shot. Wipes a floater out. Well... I don't really want the floater, to, the, the ship to get so many kills, but it's doing amazingly good work here, so I really cannot complain. Yamaguchi, you're going to move up and take a peek around the corner. You're going to move over to here this time. Lightning reflexes, of course, which is why I wasn't worried about moving you. Shot comes in and hits you for 6 damage. That was 90% reduced aim. Ouch. That's why our scouts get hurt all the time, I tell you. Alright, can you see him, Nabil? No. Koro can't see him either. I could move up with a shiv if I really have to, but I don't really want to. Let's move up first with Balo. You can see him now, Balo. What's your aim at him? 37 to do a bit of damage. Can you grenade the car he's hiding beside? He isn't actually in cover. Do you have an exposed shot at him? No. Why not? Oh, wrong button. Why is he not exposed to you? Hmm, I don't know. I guess because he's still airborne, apparently. Is he airborne, really? He's right by the ground. Whatever. Alright, I guess he doesn't count as being on the ground right now. I could shoot at him and have a low chance of hitting him, or I could grenade him, but he's not in cover, so that doesn't actually help us. I really don't want to give the Shiv the kill here is the problem. If we move the Shiv up, the Shiv will be able to do something about it. Let's move the Shiv up to here. We don't want to move too far and trigger more packs. There's the other floater. Uh-oh. Overwatch coming in at our shiv. Miss, please. Thank you. I love how they missed the shiv, but hit our 90% dodge chance lightning reflexes unit. And now you can't see him again. That's unfortunate. You have a 40% chance to insta-kill that guy. Nabil, I kind of need you to move, dude. If we can get you on the roof... No, it's not going to help. We need to get you closer to the fray here. Okoro, if I move you up to here, do you see something? No. Oh... Alright, you're going to overwatch then and hope they move towards us so you can get a kill. Petridis, how's your shredder looking? 0 0.6 tiles a scatter. That is pretty nice right now. Is there a good chance of me hitting the wall with the 0 tiles a scatter there? Nope. Alright, let's fire this right here. It should land exactly where we want it to. should shred this guy and shred his ally. Which would make Execution have a much higher chance of hitting. Only hit one of them, it looks like. But he's down to one health. So all we have to do is ping him with damage and he'll die. So our, uh, our grenade option there is looking quite nice now. 12% chance, 1% chance with the shotgun. Can we finish him off with the pistol shot here from Yamaguchi? How are the odds looking on this? 17%. Not good. But I don't really have anything else I want to do with her right now. So we'll take a long bomb pistol shot. That was to be expected. Nabil can actually see something now. Nabil can see him for some reason, but he couldn't before. Take the 69% chance shot, Nabil. Mmm, the misses. Okay. We could have hit something there, which would have been great, but we didn't, so we're just going to have to deal with it. We can AP grenade out here, which is really what I want to do. If we can do even a single point of damage to him, we can get our shiv to potentially take out the other guy. So let's throw this grenade, and hopefully it'll do A damage, and that'll be all we need. I don't like doing this to kill him. Do we have any other way to do it? 37 is not reliable right now. We need him dead. So we're going to AP grenade him to make sure he dies. As long as it does a single point of damage, that's all we need. And I'm really okay with killing people with explosives here, given that we need them to not be alive anymore. Shiv has a 40% shot to kill this guy. Do it, Shiv. Thunder. Oh! Thunderstruck. 10 damage crit. That was an amazing, amazing terror mission. That could have gone so much worse. I mean, sure, we killed a lot of things with explosives. And sure, uh, we did lose two civilians. But we saved 16 civilians and killed a ton of aliens. Our Shiv here was probably 
the unit of honor, though. It got so much work done. Amazing. Devil's Summer. Yeah, no kidding. That was awesome. That could have gone so much worse. So much worse. I thought we were gonna lose soldiers in there for sure, but since I had never actually tried a terror mission, I wanted to give it a shot, and oh man, that was not that bad. Awesome. Glad I brought the team I did, too. Nobody leveled up. Four kills in one mission. Nicely done, Thunder. He isn't even damaged. He's perfectly fine. He's active immediately. That's interesting. I guess because he doesn't have fatigue because he's a robot. Yamaguchi's wounded for 24 days. Our scouts get hurt so badly sometimes. Man, all right. Well, that was a glorious success. Seven floater corpses, one chrysalid carcass, four illyrium, four alien alloys, seven weapon fragments, and two meld. Nice. Oh, panic increased in Africa by four. Panic increased across North America, but we saved them. Remember, we saved so many of them. I guess it's two panic per person you didn't save. I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. Ugh, we did a good job there, though. I don't like how that ended, but we did a good job in there. Saved a lot of people. Hey, as panic goes up, you get less money. That's scary. But yeah, that uh, that was a that that could have gone much much worse. That's all I have to say about that. That was a pretty unmitigated success, I'd have to say. All right, well, phenomenal. I think we're going to have to just end this episode here, though, because we're already past 40 minutes. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some more XCOM Enemy Within Long War, taking on the terror mission for the first time, and having surprising success with it, too. Either way, I look forward to seeing you guys next time, and thank you all very much for watching. But for now, bye bye